Hey, what is going on, everybody? Ben from Ridiculous Gamers here, and I have a really cool Easter egg from Halo 5 to bring to you guys today. Never before seen. Uh, we just discovered it today in a Halo Waypoint forum thread. Uh, so this was really cool. Awesome to be a part of. Really glad that I got this experience. So there are a bunch of knives hidden throughout the uh, the level. And when you shoot them, they light on fire. And I gave credit to Cryptix Z. He was the first person to post about it on the forum. So shout out to that guy because we might not have found this without him. So with these knives, you just shoot them, the light on fire. Um, that's about it. That's the first one. And then moving on to the second one is right after the first big battle. And it's near this uh, kind of Covenant engine thing. This was found by Larry Tang, so shout out to that guy. Uh, so it's right above the engine, right there. Uh, so I'll show you that a little bit. So just shoot it just like you did with the last one. It will light on fire too. And the second one will only appear after you shoot the first one. That's the way it works with all of them. So the third one is actually really close, and this was discovered by Xtorted. Uh, so it's right next to the second one. In these ice caves, you just follow those uh, soldiers right up the cliffs as you normally do. And you just climb up onto the last ledge right up here. And you'll see that the knife is right over there. So again, you just shoot it just the way you do with all of them. And it will light on fire as well. So there's also kind of a bonus thing we wanted to do here. My friend actually uh, figured out there was a hidden bolt shot. This doesn't have to do with the Easter egg. Just thought it'd be kind of cool to point out to you guys in case you're doing this in further playthroughs. Uh, so he led me along this ledge, and there's a hidden bolt shot over here. If you're not stupid, you won't fall like I did. <laughs> but, uh, so the bolt shot is right there. It's a beefed up version of the bolt shot, so it's uh, much better. That's what he said, at least. So just something cool I thought I'd throw in there, just in case uh, you guys wanted to see that. So now we're moving on to knife number four. Right after you exit... Uh, kind of the ice caves and this was discovered by eric dk we'll get on to this guy later because he's an absolute beast um but it's right here right on, off that ledge near like the banshee wreckage that's over there i actually looked here a little bit but i never saw it the first time so there you go that's number four and so something else that i forgot to mention at the beginning is that all the promethean weapons will change to unsc weapons at the weapons caches throughout the map you can see this is a sniper rifle where it's usually a light rifle um, so all you have to do to get that is to shoot the first knife. Uh, you don't have to shoot the others for that to happen throughout the entire game. It'll just happen all the time. So this is knife number five. This is also discovered by Eric DK. All the rest of them are. Uh, so that's really awesome. This guy was an absolute friggin' beast. Um, and, like, honestly, he found, like, four or five of these, and it was amazing. So, uh, moving on. Number five is right up here. It's really hard to see. It's right in between those icicles right there. You can shoot in the general direction, and it'll still light on fire. So I didn't even see it, but I still got it. Um, but that's just the general direction. So another kind of hidden weapon thing are these scatter shots down here. Uh, there are actually two of them, and they're kind of like the beefed-up version of the scatter shot. And there are two of them, so if you're playing with a friend, you can both have one. Everyone's happy. No one's fighting over the scatter shots. But, you know, just another extra thing. Doesn't have to do with the Easter egg. Just thought it was something cool to point out. So moving on to number six. This is right after the last big battle um, of the mission. So you move over to the right side, right next to the door. And it's right there on that cliff side. Just shoot it, as you normally would with all of these things. And then you move on into number seven the final one, right in the last interior room, right before the cutscene of the mission. Uh, so we cleared out all the enemies, and it's right here. Hard to miss. Actually, impossible to miss. There's no way that you're going to miss this. Um, and you just shoot it. Sometimes the shooting doesn't work, so you have to melee it, but you know, whatever. So you will get a Prophet's Bane, I think it is, and you will get active camo, and you will also get the plasma pistol. So what happens is a giant knight and the Warden Eternal spawn in, and you have to kill them or they're gonna kill you obviously you know i don't think you get anything for doing it uh it's just kind of some crazy easter egg so it's pretty cool so i'll just let this clip of uh, us taking down the warden eternal play for a little bit and i'll come back to you guys near the end Thank <laughs> you. 
should go. Guard my hand. And you will pay for not help you. The ward is black. Yeah, strong. Alright, so that is me taking it down. This Warden Eternal doesn't seem to be as strong as the other ones you fight in the campaign. I think, at least, it seemed a lot easier to take him down than the other ones. Uh, that may or may not be true, I'm not really sure, but it seemed that way. So again, guys, huge shout out to everybody that was involved in this uh, forum thread on Halo Waypoint. I'm going to link that in the description if you guys want to check it out as we kind of discovered everything along the way. Really cool, really awesome experience to be a part of. And again, shout out to all the people who discovered the locations of these things. That's really awesome. So again, this is a really awesome Easter egg. So go check it out, guys. Make sure to play on Legendary. Really awesome. And I'll see you guys later.